Kate Middleton has put reconciliation with incredibly disloyal Prince Harry, Meghan Markle on ice, experts. Harry was recently in UK for anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's death, he did not appear to meet his family. The rift between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and Prince William and Princess Kate Middleton may never heal, according to new claims. However, royal experts tell SSN24 News Digital that might not exactly be the case, and instead, a reconciliation has simply been put on ice. British journalist Jenny Bond told OK. Magazine this week that Middleton has been so hurt and insulted by Harry and Markle's actions since leaving the royal family that she has allegedly closed her mind to a reconciliation. Bond said, when you come from a happy, united family, as Catherine does, it's incredibly hard to understand how people can become estranged. She continued, I think she believed the rift could be fixed and, after Prince Philip's funeral, we saw her talking with Harry and obviously encouraging William to do the same. But we now know that it didn't work. Bond continued her claim, saying, in fact, William and Harry had a blazing row right after the funeral. There comes a point when you just have to accept that happy families are not a game that everyone can play. Princes William and Harry's grandfather, Prince Philip, died in April 2021. Harry and Markle had stepped back from the royal family in 2020 and later moved to California. Royal expert Shannon Felton Spence told Fox News Digital she doesn't think the door to repairing the relationship of the once-fab four is closed entirely. That's counter to everything I know about Catherine. She is not cold or hard. She is a kind person, Felton said. She cares deeply about Harry and about family in general. They are all hurt, but she knows they are family. No one has closed their mind to reconciliation, they've just put it on ice, she continued. It seems like everyone has quit pushing, and they are just all giving the rift some space. I don't think you can measure these things. They were a unit that has split into two conflicting camps. Everyone is hurt. Everyone has hurt everyone. Christopher Anderson, author of The King, told SSN24 News Digital that the Prince and Princess of Wales are focused on their royal duties. They have neither the time nor the energy to waste on trying to lure Harry back into the royal fold, he said. However, don't expect Middleton to continue to play peace broker. Kate's days of being a go-between in this brother-against-brother -brother scenario are over. So, the Prince and Princess of Wales are just soldiering on, Anderson said. He added, that said, Kate, who has proven herself over and over again to be the most solid, reliable and resilient member of the royal family, has not turned her back on Harry entirely. She's simply not as petty, fragile or vindictive as everyone around her. Helena Chard, royal broadcaster and royal photographer, agreed that Kate and William have much more than their strained bond to worry about. Kate and William realize that they can't waste time and overthink the relationship breakdown. They need to concentrate on their family and their service to the sovereign and people of the UK and Commonwealth, Chard told SSN24 News Digital. Chard did think that either William and Harry's aunt, and, the Princess Royal, or possibly their mother's brother, Charles Spencer, 9th Earl Spencer, could help their relationship, but time will be the biggest healer. Experts also speculate that the possibility of a reconciliation remains distant over Harry's comments about his brother and sister-in-law in his memoir, Spare. When you think of the personal revelations, and I think you can call them snide remarks made about Kate in Spare, Harry broke the one rule, and that is staying silent on family matters, royal expert Katie Nichol told The Sun last week. I don't think Kate does angry, she continued. I think it is more a case of feeling very disappointed, very let down and feeling hurt knowing that she had no right of reply, and Harry knew full well she had no right of reply. She tried to get the brothers back on an even keel, and for Kate to be dragged into this mucky saga was upsetting for her and certainly did infuriate William, Nickel told the outlet. Anderson expects the divide to deepen and possibly remain permanent if, as he predicts, Markle releases a memoir of her own. That will almost certainly be packed with explosive new revelations about the royal family, and it's hard to imagine Kate would emerge unscathed. Maybe that would be the final blow that pushes Kate over the edge, the one thing that prompts her to finally slam that door shut forever. We'll have to see how the drama continues to unfold, he said. Chard noted that Harry has hurt Kate far more than Meghan in the long run and that the siblings-in-law had a good relationship, 